Larry Ollier. It's French in origin, so it's H-O-L-L-I-E-R. Um, but actually, everybody who knows me calls me Scotty, believe it or not. Um, but I'm the surgeon in chief here at Texas Children's Hospital. My father was a surgeon. As well, my father was a, a CB surgeon. And I was always going to be a surgeon. From the time I was probably about four years old, I remember thinking I was going to be doing what my dad did. Um, my summer job used to be to work as a surgical tech in the operating rooms at the Mayo Clinic. And one day I got called in to help on a case. And it was amazing. I mean, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And it, it happened to be a, what we would call a cranial vault remodeling, where you take a child's skull off and you reshape it and put it back on. And I went back to the locker room and I had to ask the other techs what kind of case it was. And they told me um, well, it was a plastic surgery case. And I remember that day saying, well, I'm going to be a plastic surgeon now. And I never changed from that point. And so while I was always going to be a surgeon, it wasn't until I was in college that I realized I was going to be a plastic surgeon. It's very hard to find jobs in pediatric plastic surgery. There aren't very many in the country. So when I finished my training, this was the only job there was. I think Texas Children's is the best place to practice pediatric medicine or pediatric surgery um, for several reasons. Of course, being the biggest children's hospital in the world, we have resources that other places simply don't have. We have a scale and a scope, I think, that allows us to do things in a way that other institutions can only dream of. I also think that Texas Children's has a commitment that many places don't. We really want to provide the best health care in the world here. And that that's a vision and a, a philosophy, I think, that is shared by everybody in the administration, uh, in the nursing ranks, and in the, in the provider ranks. Um, when you combine resources with a clear vision about providing world-class pediatric health care, I don't know how you can go wrong. And I have friends in other institutions around the country, and I can assure you that vision and those resources are, are not everywhere in this country. We're very, very, very fortunate to be here. Well, I guess the best example of, of seeing how other physicians have grown harkens back to when I was named the Chief of Plastic Surgery. Um, at that time, there were only two of us, and my partner had become ill, and he was out for probably over a year. And for that year, I was the only plastic surgeon here, and I desperately needed help. So um, I began interviewing and I hired a young man uh, who was straight out of training. Uh, it turned out it was a great decision. Um, I had a chance to watch him grow his skills, his leadership abilities over that seven years. And when I assumed this new role as Surgeon in Chief, I needed to have somebody else assume that role, and, and it was him. And to think that in that seven year period, he could have developed the way he did into somebody that I'm absolutely confident in uh, as a future leader of plastic surgery is a great example. I don't think he could have grown that way personally or professionally in, in just any children's hospital in this country. A very important part of my legacy is to ensure that when I leave, I leave leaders behind who are capable of moving us forward as though nothing had ever happened. I think the most important thing when you get a new job is to figure out who's gonna replace you in that new job and start cultivating them. Uh, the other thing I think that's, that's really important for me here is even though I'm surgeon in chief and responsible for the Department of Surgery, I like to think that my legacy will be that the decisions that I made were in the best interest of the hospital as a whole and not just the Department of Surgery. We can't function if we're all functioning in silos. We need to make sure that that what we do is good for Texas children. The best way to make the Department of Surgery strong is to make Texas children strong. It is hard to be part way in on pediatric care. Um, it is hard to be successful when pediatric health care is part of your business. I think increasingly we are convinced that you have to be all in to provide the care for kids the way they need it today. It's very, very complex. For us, I think it's, it's an incredible opportunity to have such a wonderful city, the capital of our state, that is underserved in the pediatric market. We know how to provide health care. We know how to build buildings, how to staff them, and provide the expertise that children need. Uh, it is, I think this is part of our journey to truly be Texas Children's Hospital. We were named very aptly back in the day. We weren't named Houston Children's Hospital. Mr. Abercrombie had the right vision for us. 
We need to be the children's hospital for the entire state and beyond, and Austin is, is a great place to begin that.